What's up everybody, it's your boy the Sand Sats and me back at it again with another video. I told you I would be back. Today's episode, we are going to uh, talk about the most anticipated anime coming out in this season. Now personally, I cannot wait for the full season anime to start. Uh, I've been saying for a while on my podcast, um, make sure you go check out the podcast. Link in the top of the description, go and subscribe. But I've been saying for a while on the podcast that I'm just waiting for October to start so I can get into these anime. We got a stack card, I'm super excited. So without further ado, I'm gonna be talking about my five most anticipated anime for fall, and I'll chuck in a couple honorable mentions. All right, coming in at number five, Spy Family season two. Uh, now it's obviously um, no secret, I love Spy Family. I thought it was a really fun anime. Firstly, who doesn't love a little bit of espionage? And also, uh, how can you not love Anya's face? She is so cute. Just for who hasn't seen the anime uh, Lloyd Forger is a spy he's actually the greatest spy in the country uh, he's been tasked to uh, start a family uh, get into this um, really prestigious school and befriend um, I get the enemy so he does this by going to an orphanage to um, adopt a girl as his daughter um, that girl actually can read minds then he meets a woman who pretends to be his wife who is actually an assassin and to top off this weird dynamic obviously Anya is a mind reader so she knows that uh, Lloyd is a spy and that Yor is a assassin but Yor and Lloyd don't know what each other do Anyway, season two is starting on October 1st and I cannot be more excited to check this one out. At number four, we have My Hero Academia season six. Now, uh, for me personally, as a manga reader, uh, this is where shit goes down. We are right at the beginning of a story that takes a dark turn and um, I'm pretty excited for this one. This season, we're gonna see a lot of like what the villains are capable of, what they're willing to do, the lengths they're willing to go, uh, who can actually stand to be heroes and um, cool shit like uh, Bakugo and Deku fighting together. Some of our favorite classmates trying to hit that front line. But also, like I said, I'm not trying to spoil it, but we are right at the beginning of it taking a dark turn. So, yeah, needless to say, I'm pretty excited to check this one out. My Hero Academia, the same as Spy Family, is starting on October 1st. So, uh, get ready for it, it's going to be insane. And number three, something I've been waiting for for quite a while, uh, Mob Psycho Season 3. Mob Psycho is a bit of a unique one for me, so Mob Psycho is not something that I read, it's something that I really enjoy watching. Which honestly sounds a bit weird to say because at the beginning where it first started, I, it really took me a little while to get over the animation. But once I did get over that, I, f I find it stunning, like the, the animation in this is beautiful. It's sharp and it's colourful and it really sort of takes you to this different place. But like I was saying, I don't read it, so to be honest, I don't actually know what's going to happen. I know that uh, Dimple was trying to take over Mob. Um, I hope I'm not getting my wires crossed there. I haven't seen it in a while, um, but I'm I'm really excited to, to get back into this one. Also, just quickly, I feel like Mob has the, the best um, character development out of um, a lot of anime characters. You slowly start to see the shy teenage boy start to open up and like really kind of find out who he is. But yeah, Mob Psycho 100 Season 3 out on October the 6th. Getting into our number two spot, uh, something that has been off the air for a decade now, 10 years been off the air. Uh, it's coming back for its final arc. It is Bleach with the Thousand Year Blood War. I've said this before on my podcast, but I have never watched Bleach. Uh, well, that's not true. I've seen the first uh, arc, the Soul Society arc. I've seen the Soul Society arc, um, but I've pretty much only ever read Bleach. So I am very familiar with the Thousand Year Blood War and um, it's probably... No, it is the most gruesome out of them. So maybe that's why they didn't adapt it the first time, but I have very high expectations for this one. I love this arc. If anything, it just feels like Kubo's excuse to give everyone their bankai. But believe me when I say you will not be short of any action on this one. We see a lot of highs and lows for some of our favorite characters, obviously Ichigo Kurosaki, Rukia, Byakuya, Kenpachi, Toshiro, shit, even Renji. Just trust me, if you're a fan of Bleach and you've only watched the anime, this will probably be one of the best seasons you've ever seen. Obviously, a couple of honorable mentions. Uncle from Another World, uh, that's still continuing, I'm pretty sure, on Netflix. One Piece is still continuing the Wano arc, which is incredible. Definitely watch it to its completion. Jojo comes back for another season. I don't watch Jojo, but for anyone that likes it, um, there you go. There's also one that I've been hearing about for quite a while, um, Blue Lock. So it's a soccer one. I've been hearing about it like for a year. Uh, good things. So uh, I'm not into soccer, but I definitely want to check it out. The animation looks 
kind of crazy. But all that being said, to our number one spot, we have Chainsaw Man. Um, like I've said before on this channel, on my podcast, massive fan of Chainsaw Man, was reading it while I was serializing. Um, and funny thing about Chainsaw Man is it has not never had an anime adaptation, but it's got such a big hype around it. Um, I understand it, uh, I read it, I love it, um, but it's just crazy to, to have such a hype uh, around something that uh, even non-manga readers are like talking about. It's kind of crazy. I'm not going to talk too much about it um, because it's going to start and I kind of just, if you haven't seen it, I kind of just want you to watch the first episode for yourself and check it out because uh, it can be pretty confronting at times. So depending on how it is animated, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. It should do really well if it's animated um, correctly. When I say correctly, I mean like not taking any liberties on the story. I'm just taking the story for what it is. We don't need any adaptations about this. Don't try to dumb it down. Just give it to us how it was intended to be given to us. Like a sad horror story. But anyway, guys, I'm super excited for the full season of anime. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. What are you most excited for? Do you agree with this list? Also, I know I've said it before, but please go and check out my podcast first link in the description. Make sure you go and subscribe. But all that being said, people, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm the Saiyan Satsumi, and I'll catch you in the next one.